Good morning. The purpose of this Tanner Tube tutorial is to teach you how to set up your spelling and grammar checker in Microsoft Word so that it catches more of your mistakes. I have a document right here that I have saved on my computer and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and set up my uh, spelling and grammar checker. I'm going to click on File. I'm going to go down to Options and then right here I'm going to go to Proofing and I'm going to make sure that all these are checked. I'm not worried about the French because I don't use French. Down here I'm going to make sure everything is checked. I don't need readability statistics but that's kind of interesting if you want to know what grade level you're writing at. And for writing style please make sure that the grammar and style button is selected. Okay and then we're going to make sure that the hide spelling errors and hide grammar errors boxes are not checked and then we're going to click recheck document right here recheck document and say yes and say OK alright now you see we have some interesting things going on here okay um, your spell checker should never ever ever take the place of reading your your information okay so right here we have a little poem that I copied from this website and it says I have a spelling checker alright now according to Microsoft Word the only misspelled word in here is checker and it doesn't even give you the correct choice so I is misspelled have is misspelled checker is misspelled it came with my PC alright this isn't the kind of PC that we're talking about we're talking about a PC personal computer it plainly marks that's not the right word for my review that's not the right word mistakes I cannot see alright so really what they're trying to say is that this is mistakes I cannot see right this is what it should be it should not be this alright so I'll let you have some fun with the rest of this poem you can take a look at it and you can read through it pause it pause the video whatever you need to do okay let's go back and read something that's not quite as entertaining all right so the spell checker when I push F7 it's gonna check my spelling okay I just pointed these out because they're not underlined all right so I can go F7 boom all right it thinks that spell checking needs a should not have a capital letter so a lowercase letter you can say sure go ahead and change that alright checker is not in dictionary you don't like any of these suggestions because none of them are correct so you can ignore that one you're gonna fix it yourself mistakes use of first pronoun use of first pronoun use of first pronoun okay there's a or and you know that's the wrong word that's not the only wrong word in that line alright just going through this so you can see how the spelling checker works so I'm just ignoring things for now okay and there you go now according to my spell checker I'm done and you'll see there's nothing underlined anymore alright when you're done running your spell checker please 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 go through and read the letter out loud to yourself or whatever it is that you wrote for example this letters is arranged in modified block format with block paragraph it never marked letters as a spelling mistake okay or a grammar mistake so you have to catch those kind of things on your own this letter is arranged in modified block format with block paragraph the only difference between this letters format and the block format okay now this could be a possessive I mean, this letters format and the block format is that the date line, the closing lines, complementary close, blah 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 blah, begin at the horizontal center point. Okay? So I did those two instances of letter 
to illustrate how the spell checker does not catch everything. And I'm going to wrap it up right about now. Uh, hopefully you know how to get your spelling checker set up. Hopefully you know how to press F7. That's the Function 7 key on your keyboard. F7 is your friend. I tell all my students that. And make sure that you check your spelling. Make sure that you read your spelling. And, uh, you know, <laughs> have fun.